What's good tribe? It's the priest. I'm back with another pick a card reading. I'm going to be channeling a message directly from the universe, no matter where you are. So you weren't meant to hear this yesterday. You weren't meant to hear this tomorrow. You were meant to hear this message exactly for right in this moment. So if you guys are here, it's definitely not by coincidence. As I always say, even if you're connected to me in any type of way, just know that you're one of the 1% who is actually connected to enlightenment. I feel like all of that just rhymed anyways. So a lot of you guys are waking up to who you are. And so in this message, I'm going to be bringing a lot of confirmation, clarity directly from the universe. If you guys are looking for a deeper insight, you guys can find a video I just released only on the tarot chest. There's 111 of them. And I don't know how many are left, but if you guys do have the opportunity to snag one of them, you will be one of the 111. And so that video is all about diving deep into your life purpose and why you are here on earth in a very, very high perspective way. And if you're asking that question in any sense, that means that you're actually knocking on the door to enlightenment. So that means that you are one of the very few. If you guys are looking for that, you can find that in the description box. If you guys are looking for that, you can find that at thetarotchest.com. As far as personal readings are concerned, if you guys are on the email list, you might receive an invitation, but for the most part, most of my readings are private through invitation invite. So if you see that link down below in my description box, that's the only link you can find to book a personal reading. And those are very limited every month. So if you're here, there's a message for you. Wherever you are, doesn't matter where you are, this message is exactly what you need to hear. So it's gonna be extremely accurate for where you are. And it's also going to be giving you the exact clarity you may have been seeking in this very moment, okay? So there's a lot of information coming through here. If you guys are new, don't forget to subscribe. We have three different decks that you guys can choose from, three different cards that you could choose from. We have the first card, the second card, and the third card. So we have the wolf, we have the whale, and the penguin. What's good card number one? If you guys were drawn to the wolf pathfinder, I'm already pulling messages for you guys. We have the star card at the very bottom of the deck. Aquarius energy. You don't have to be an Aquarius. But if you guys are here and you chose deck one, you were drawn to the wolf, which means that you are on a journey of discovering what you believe is the right path. However, what I'm picking up immediately is that all paths lead to where you belong, which kind of feels like home. This feeling of getting back to yourself, discovering yourself, and discovering what you truly desire to do. So this path you are seeking <laughs> is actually not a path that feels recognizable, which is why you may be asking, am I on the right path? Am I going towards the right path? Where do I go next? How do I get there? And with the star card here, you are destined to carry hope no matter what the situation looks like. Okay, so we have release your past and start a new journey. You are a teacher and help others find their way. What I'm picking up is this may not be just a traditional teacher. Okay, you are teaching people to try something new, to go a different direction. Okay, so if you're here, you are on the right path, but it may not seem like it if you're comparing it to the people around you, because this path that you are on is a path that you are the pioneer of, meaning you're creating the path, you're paving the path as you go, and this path is the path of impossibilities. So your path doesn't look possible. The star card is here, which is why you have been given this gift of hope, but what I'm hearing is you're going beyond hope to really know that you're here to live a life that you love. There will be challenges, but your soul is strong. Perseverance is your secret power. If you're here, I'm hearing that your path is protected and you cannot miss this path. So you are on a journey and this journey is to discover why you are here, what you are here for. And this path is protected. Yes, yeah, seeking knowledge, wisdom, searching, learning, you're on a discovery of learning who you truly are. How often have you been thinking about you and what you desire and what will make you happy, what will light you up because you're the star. And when people see that you're lit, they will notice that you're a star and they will be inspired by it is what I'm hearing. Okay. We have your, for your guys's tarot, 
We have the six of pentacles. We have the knight of pentacles. We have the four of swords and the king of Gabriel. All right. So what's happening is you're getting prepared to get into this masculine energy, which just means confident being a leader, not waiting for someone to go down a path before you go. And so I'm hearing that you're being given courage in this time. You're given bravery in this time. This path is going to activate you and actually show you who you are. And I feel like there could be some fears here that you're experiencing, maybe some doubts here around how some of this is going to happen. And I believe that what this is doing is it is encouraging you to take a leap of faith into being the leader of your own path, not waiting for someone. Because once again, I'm, I'm getting that you may have been looking for a specific path, but if you can take a step back, you are just aligning with the path that feels good to you. That's why we have the night and the six. This is connected to your childhood. What were you doing when you were a child, when you were doing it just because you enjoyed it? This is the answer to your career. Some of you are so practical, all right? You're really being shifted into more of a spiritual, intuitive approach rather than a practical approach, understanding that this world is a vibrational universe. We don't have any major arcana here except for the star card. Let's clarify why the star card was here. All right, we have the six of swords. The seven of wands, okay? I'm hearing that whatever you're doing right now, if it feels like you have to work hard for it, then it is not aligned, <laughs> which is good news, okay? We think that this is only bad news because then we think we've wasted our time and we've spent all this money and we've been doing all of this. You're being asked to reevaluate your priorities, your highest priority being joy, be in joy in what you love to do. I see a celebration coming through, all right? I'm seeing that you are moving forward out of these beliefs, these, these low-frequency beliefs and doubts around what you're here to do, what you deserve, even in your relationships, in your love life. I'm seeing your love life is changing, all right? So your path is, your true path is aligned with happiness and love is what I'm picking up. So if it's been hard work, that is communication from the universe that you are trying to force something. The path that you are looking for should be easy. It should come natural. It should be fun to you. And I believe this is centered around creativity. Let's get a message about manifesting, okay? We have, when I merge my desire, okay, thank you, with faith, I can take action from a place of peace rather than control. Control is, okay, let me go make this happen. I assure you that the perfect path for you, you do not have to make happen. It is already aligned for you, which is why you're just aligning with what you truly enjoy here. We have embrace your inner child, new friends or rekindled relationships, childhood and um, children. So your family life, remember I said home? Home is where you feel like you're being yourself the most. So home is a discovery of, of finding you, but it is also a feeling that you will get from others. But right now, it is really time to focus on your own path. And you will inspire more people by living in this path than you will by talking about it. There's something about you living in it. So insights are coming from a quiet meditation. So you're getting ready to receive insights. But you must sleep and take some time to relieve from, from stress, which means let the universe in. Let God in, let something else in that will bring you relief. If I said that the universe is here to help you, you should feel relief. But with the seven of wands, this has been a battle. But I assure you what is meant for you is easy. As soon as you choose to see the light in the dark corners, you will redirect your power towards what you want. All right. So you are on a journey, deck one. And this journey is to discover something that you love, someone that you love. This journey is protected and it is igniting you into being more inspirational. We have the star card here and we have the King of Gabriel, someone who is driven, someone who is not afraid to take the lead, but you're being led by something. And that something is the connection with you and God, the universe, your intuition, your spirit, Okay, let's see why a message from higher self. Thank you. 
expect to hear from me soon. That's another confirmation. So some of you guys are getting ready to hear from the universe because you're open and you're looking for a way out is what I'm hearing, a different path. I'm also hearing not to wait until your back is against the wall before you call on the universe. There is a deeper connection that you're going to have with the universe for the purpose of your peace. So you can feel relieved because when you feel relieved, then you can track everything that you desire because it feels good. All right. So whatever is happening right now, this is reminiscing on the past experiences that you've had as a child. There's something very important that you were doing that maybe you haven't done recently that you should do more of. Your joy is more important than you're making it. How you feel is more important. And when you're creative and when you're in this energy of creativity, it's going to allow you to be inspirational and it's also going to allow you to be generous. It's going to lead you to success. Experience that leads to success, genuine concern for others. So you have a desire to inspire others. But what you're learning right now is that you living your dream, you being happy is an inspiration to others. And this path is protected. Thank you. Imagine yourself exploring three new places and we have just release it. So if you're trying to figure it out, let's see what the energy for deck one is. What is their energy right now? What is their energy? Victory. There you have it. So you guys have a victorious outcome just simply from walking away. All right. So some of you are maybe afraid of how this is going to work. I hear that you will be walking away when it feels good. All right. If it feels like a sacrifice, then that doesn't feel good, M which means spirit is saying make peace with what you are letting go because it didn't make you happy, not because you have to sacrifice it. So I see that you are getting ready to travel. Something is here in your books as far as traveling. Spirit is saying focus on where you want to go. What does that feel like when you get there? What does the victory feel like? Your path is leading you to victory is what I'm hearing. So what else is here that they really need to hear? Okay, the Empress. Okay, we have the Empress strength. We have Leo energy. You're getting into your creative energy. We now have feminine energy. Nurturing some of these, nurturing this life, this new life that is emerging and coming through, nurturing this new you. It's a new path. This path is unknown which is why it could feel very scary because it's not a path that you know. But what fun is a movie if you know all of it, right? You just keep watching the same movie over and over knowing what's going to happen because of your comfortability. That's the past. And that's why we have release your past and start a new journey. The new journey is mysterious. It's unknown. So you can look at it as exciting or you can look at it as frightening. All right. So you're being led to your to activating a creative side of you you might not understand how your creative endeavors are going to bring financial freedom to you and a whole new life for you and that's why it's very important for you to imagine yourself in this space that you are desiring to be in in these experiences that you desire to have and they are yours is what I'm hearing. You have victory. So with the strength card, this is also confirmation that you're being given courage at this time, courage to do something that not many people did. And if people start to question why you're doing it, it's really them projecting their fears and where they stopped. Because remember, everyone has this opportunity, but for some reason, you are being ignited into actually going through these doors. These doors are what am I here to, I'm here to create the life that I desire to live. Let's actually see what that's about. Message for deck one. Okay, there could be a need to recharge, okay, <laughs> recharging my battery. So something about recharging, also understand that it is in this place of rest, okay, with the four of swords here. Insights that come from a quiet meditation. So finding a space for yourself, nurturing yourself so that you can get stronger, you could be more courageous and your path naturally will help and serve others is what I'm hearing. This is not something you have to figure out and go out there and do on your own. You are being guided by the universe. You are a star. You are the empress. You are here to create. You are a creator. You are birthing a new you. You are birthing a new life. You never seen this before. 
So you're not sure which path to go towards. Your next path is if it feels good, follow it. And when you get there, the communication will come. All right. So you're, it's like, I just told someone the other day in a life coaching session, it's like a scavenger hunt. It's like a scavenger hunt. Literally, you're getting to these places that you're excited to be, to go towards, but you don't know why. Once you get there, then the information in the channel message will be given to you. So the ultimate changes right now is with the affirmation, we have the action card. You could be in Aries, you don't have to be, but we're picking up a lot of assertiveness by understanding you're the one that has the power. I am brave, there we have it, and I am gentle. I don't have to be afraid of others. I respect myself and am respected by others. All right, so there, your connection in your path with where you are right now, there is a connection to people. And I believe it's because you draw a lot of people to you because you are the light, the star. There is something about you. You have an inner beauty that people see about you. They gaze, they see the light within every being. People see that within you as a light being. So your personality and your physical appearance are in the image of man. That's man. But beauty is goodness. It's a feeling in the image of your spirit. When people say you're just so beautiful, even if they were blind, I'm hearing. They would hug you and feel your beauty. And your beauty is that feeling of essence of goodness, like you're kind, you're, you're here for the good, like you want to help and you want to bring that help to others and inspire others by doing that. So you've been through a lot of dark corners, but you've always seen the light and you're being asked to see the light and you can't do anything but see the light because you're the star, which means you will always see the light no matter where you are. And that is something that many people admire. So already people are inspired by what you're doing, okay? So let's see where you're headed. What's the energy look like? We have victory, we have walking away. Where's the energy headed for card one if they were drawn here? Where are they headed towards? Okay, seven of swords, taking off your mask, being who you truly are, um, revealing yourself, not being afraid to make decisions because of lack mentality, all right? I see that you're gonna be very empowered to go towards living an empowered life financially. So with the Seven of Swords here, I also feel like there could be some isolation and some self-time that is coming that is going to be bringing you some of the answers. You truly desire to seek answers to questions that you have about certain situations in your life right now, certain people in your life right now with the Seven of Swords, maybe even your own deceptive thoughts. So there's a sense of clarity of coming through and this clarity is bringing you relief. Can you relax and, and trust that everything is working out for your good, that you are being led on the right path and you can never be misled because you have an inner guidance that will will basically alert you to move you actually have an inner guidance that is protecting you so if anything is around you like sometimes i'll be jogging and i'll have my headphones on and i'll turn and there'll be a person like coming maybe 10 feet away like they're not right on me but they're almost right on me and i'm looking back every single time my instinct tells me when someone is near and that's the same awareness that you have. We all have this awareness. It's just, are you aware of this awareness? Are you listening to this awareness? So this is the path, the path of discovering who you are, what you're capable of, and you, you haven't really got to see yourself in its full light. There's, there's a self-revealing of who you are I just talked about the tarotchest.com. If you guys are looking for a life purpose reading, there's 111. You may be one of those 111 to really discover what am I here for? And I believe this card is in the reading. Pathfinder, what is my path? How do I get there? The how is not for you to figure out. And that's where you must understand that you have a partner helping you. Okay, King of Pentacles, some of you are actually manifesting a partner or someone around you that is stable that can help you, whether it's a business partner, whether it's a best friend, whether it's a love partner. Why is the lovers here in reverse? Thank you. All right, Page of Cups. All right, there's something, your next path is to discover what you're in love with. That is your next path. Some of you are wondering, what is my next path? You could be a Gemini, you don't have to be, but we do have Gemini energy here. What is my next path? We have a lot of children here. Some of you could be having children, and if it's not physical children, the mother, she's pregnant. It is, we usually call this birthing out a project. 
and you're giving birth, you're giving life to something new and something new is a whole new perspective, which means you're letting go of how you used to see things and letting go of the old fears that maybe you've had in the past. So, and last but not least, trusting that the universe is working with you. When you truly know that, when you truly know that, you will feel a sense of relief and you will say, thank God it's not my job. That's what you should be saying. If you're not, then you have somewhere beliefs that you have to make this happen. So we have just release it, just release it. So, all right, I'm moving on to card number two. See you guys in the next pick a card reading. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, I'm out. Card number two, if you guys were drawn to the whale, this is your message for exactly what you need to hear right now. Already I'm getting that if you guys were drawn to this card, you could be very connected to frequency of sound, vibration, and also you could be an artist, okay? Um, there's a sense of not judging yourself what type of artist you are. We're all artists, we're all creators. We're actually being our authentic self when we're creating. We are aligned with God, the universe the most when we are creating art. So you are here to create art is what I'm hearing. I hear that your perspective your philosophy, your outlook on life is so unique that this art is so unique that you're creating, that no one else in the world, literally, because only you have your perspective, is going to be able to create in the aspect that you create is what I'm hearing. So we have dare to do things differently, sing your wild song, manifest your travel dreams, Attempt the great journey with confidence. Be loyal. Friends and family are your treasures. Be brave. You are more powerful than you know. So, if you are here, <laughs> you could be a rock star. And just a rock star in killing life, I'm also hearing that you are meant to explore. You are meant to be on an adventure. This life for you is intended to be an adventure fun, exciting, explorative. And it says, sing your wild song. So some of you could be singers, writers, poets. Music is very influential to you, whether it inspires you, whether it influences your energy field. I'm hearing that there is a very important energy behind this. Understand that your vibration and energy is rare. If you are drawn to card number two, your energy is very rare. And it's almost like what I'm hearing is to understand that not everyone is like you, that you are very different, that what you desire is not something very many people have the courage to go towards. Let's see what this is about dreaming, of course. Gifts, receiving dreams. So if you are drawn to this card, you also have a psychic ability. The tarotchest.com, like I said, I just released a life purpose reading. If you guys are looking for more in-depth life purpose messages, you can find that there. I'm hearing that your life is intended to be an adventure, an exciting adventure, a mysterious adventure. So you do have a gift of being able to receive messages from the universe and every message is for you. It doesn't have to be personal. I don't have to say you right there. This could be blocking you from receiving from everywhere, okay? Because the universe is communicating not just through me, not just through Tarot, but with you every moment. So you have this gift. You must be aware of this gift is what I'm hearing. So right now you could be activating it, but what is it all for? It is to align you with the life that you truly desire to live. And you cannot lie to yourself. Because when I say you are meant to explore and go on an adventure, if it excites you, that is literal communication from your higher self. That's your spirit communicating. Okay, this is something you could have been waiting for a long time. We have the three of wands, prosperity arising from wise planning, time to take the next step optimistic plans that turn out as expected. So something is actually getting ready to turn out for the good for you is what I'm hearing. Let's get some information on what this is about. Three of wands, why is this here? Trust that you are being guided on your journey. 
Okay, so you are never alone. Being by yourself, you're still not alone. <laughs> Even when you're by yourself, you're not alone. You know, the little voice in your head, that's not you. Okay, it's your voice. There's duality here at hand. And you may be on this discovery of what is this? All right, very fascinated with the dream world. But you are here to be awake in the dream. So whatever you're going through, you're being guided on a journey to prosperity because this is your deepest desire. Some of you may think you know what you want, but the universe sees that if you knew you could have this over here, you wouldn't want that. Let me just sit back for this one. Let me just sit back. You can't see it all. So you may think you want something, but you may be dead set on that because you don't know that this is over here and that it's actually attainable. Whether that's the car you want, the house that you want, the, the career you want, the person that you desire, it doesn't matter what it is. And so you, my friend, if you're drawn to deck number two, are actually going on a journey beyond where many people go. And that is fully diving in and trusting the universe. Okay, we have the five of Ariel. We have the chariot. The biggest challenge right now I see right now in your aura is trying to overcome financial fears. And instead of trying so hard to believe that everything is going to be taken care of and to believe that you're abundant and financially free, I'm hearing to let go of all of that and truly feel what it feels like to feel abundant. To spend more time feeling the feeling of everything is taken care of, everything will be okay. Instead of trying to affirm your beliefs around your financial situations, right? Some of us, okay, every day we're gonna do these affirmations, but what fun is it if none of it is coming true? So instead of affirming every single day because you're trying to fix these money issues, like you're trying to figure it out and fix it. And what it really is, is a simple shift in your vibration of how you feel. So this new life that is emerging is a life of abundance. So it's an unfamiliar one. No matter where you are, with how much money you have, it does not matter. You are being expanded to go beyond that, to have more, to obtain more for yourself. And more is freedom. So you need not go through your current challenges alone. Help is nearby. Negative thoughts create self-fulfilling prophecies. So for those of you who do like to have steps and to affirm things and all of that, what Spirit is saying here is start by just thinking more positive thoughts about it actually working out. So you, there's something about you seeing your power and authority uh, in this world, in, in this journey that you actually have, okay? So why is five of Ariel's here, okay? And then we're gonna pull a manifestation card. The tower, yes. You're worried, how are things gonna play out? Things are ending, I'm leaving this situation. This is no longer gonna be it. This may have been providing for a situation. This could have been my foundation for a situation. And for some reason, it is falling, and that is because your foundation, whatever it was in the first place, wasn't grounded and founded in your love. Do you actually love doing this? Do you actually love being with this person? Do you actually love this home? Do you actually love this car? Whatever it is, whatever that may be. Okay, let's see what the tower is here. It's not, it wasn't grounded. Listen to life. I am attentive to the world around me. So there's a lot, could have been a lot of distractions, a lot of plans that you had, a lot of you just trying to figure this out. And still we have the tower, 10 of swords, devastation. So there is this sense of let it go and just trust that you're being guided on your journey. Instead of figuring it out, it is more of the journey of discovering it unfold. Okay, it's more of a journey and it's unfolding. And if you're aware, you can actually see it unfolding. But what's unfolding is 
your highest dreamed life. And let's see what that is. Okay, let's see what that is. Thank you. Wow. Harmony, love, marriage, union. Okay, devotion is what I'm hearing. We have justice at the bottom of the deck, good karma. It's like this path, you don't have to do anything that you're getting this life, this new life that you're creating, you don't have to do anything to make this happen. This is more of a surrendering and allowing it to happen, okay? You're not creating this to happen. You are simply allowing this to happen. Good karma is coming in, all right? So the Tower, Ten of Swords, an ending, a specific ending could be happening and maybe it has risen. Fears have risen around financial situations, what you're gonna do, how you're gonna do this. If, I'm, if your finances, if you're afraid or if something is happening or something costs more, this is actually good because you're being expanded. Some of you desire to be a millionaire, but you don't like paying to whatever a month, whatever the number is a month. It's like get comfortable here because where you actually desire to be is here. And if you can't get comfortable here, you're definitely not going to get comfortable having three properties or some of you I'm hearing hotels. Okay. Apartment complexes, duplexes for some of you, but definitely your own property. And you don't have to worry about how this is going to happen. It's, it's the universe making this happen, okay? So determination, self-control, career advancement, acknowledgement of success by others. This, whatever this journey is, your art, your dream, it's actually the key to your success because you love doing it so much, you enjoy doing it so much, you're sharing it with others. And then as a result of that, you are attracting your true twin flame. <laughs> yes. Yes, let me just say this. You may be some of the very few who actually attract your twin flame. So your true twin flame is going to mirror your most authentic version of you. All that you wish to be, all that you can imagine yourself to be is within a whole nother person. But some of you may have not felt ready for this whether it's with the person that you have now and them actually evolving to that. Some of you may outgrow people because of this. So yes, there is some detachment that is here because this new life that you're going towards, it has no attachments. You are completely free. You don't owe anyone anything. You, there are no obligations to anyone. This is your truest authentic self and your truest life. And this is what's moving forward very quickly. So if things are happening and shifting, it's because you're expanding very quickly and you are also asking for things very quickly. And so that's what's happening. You're asking and you're now it's like, OK, making room for what you're asking for. OK, four of swords, a need to rest. There's something about not doing this yourself, really trusting that you are being guided this is a journey. This is an adventure in the world. And you have been wondering how you're going to make this happen. You have a true desire to travel the world. How do you know this is your true dream? How do you know? Because when I say you desire to travel, do you feel the excitement? Do you feel the excitement? It's very subtle. The yes, yes, yes. You desire to travel and not be worried while you're traveling, to actually explore. See, some of you have traveled, but still have yet to experience what it feels like to be truly free even while you're traveling. Because there's no good of traveling if you're there, but you're still at home mentally. Okay, you're not even there physically. So, so there's something about getting, getting used to relaxing, embracing, not having to do anything. Because this is the life that you're getting ready to adjust into. So you must get comfortable with not having to worry now. Because understand that what you're desiring is, is peace. And to be able to explore into adventure. And so while you're doing that, when you're going through this adventure and traveling in this next destination in your life, you are already embracing relaxation. Okay, why is listen to life? It says listens to the way of the eternal. So you're being guided by the universe. The universe communicates with you through signs, through symbols, 
Okay, so it's not just directly through tarot readings. You're actually communicating as we speak. So what is it leading you towards? We have four of wands is union and harmony. So some of you, once again, it's a divine connection. All right, it's a very divine connection with your soul mates, with your family, with your true family, your true tribe, and a true connection here. That's what you're being guided to. This, there's no decision. It's really just accepting the good that is to come in your life. Being okay with not having to figure this out. Because there's some confusion here. I do see that you're coming out of this by trusting that it will work out. That it was, it's meant to be. The Knight of Wands. Yeah, it's something that you're very passionate about. Some type of project you could be working on. Some type of idea. Um, some of you, it's an adventure. And on this adventure, you will discover more of this. For most of you, you are an artist. All right. And this is what you enjoy doing. So when you're in that vibration, you're in the zone, you're in the creative zone. This is the energy that literally creates worlds. The same energy that put the sun in place is what you are connecting with when you're creating and you're having these outer body experiences. Some of you could be painters. You don't have to be. But this is just ideas from the outside world that come to you through your dreams. Why is the world card in reverse? Okay, some of you, you are not making this happen. Six of wands, once again, victory, success. You cannot lose. You are being guided towards victory. This is what you're here to do. So we have two marriage cards. This is the six of wands, public recognition. First tarot card that has an actual wedding on the six of wands. And it's actually inspiring others. Your love story is going to inspire others to believe in true love. So your love story is part of your purpose because it's inspiring others as well. So it, whether you discover this person or not, once again, they are the mirrored version of your true authentic self. So once you start walking in your true authentic self, you are drawing whoever this person is in closer to you. This is also part of your adventure. You're meant to explore and experience and have fun in this life. Okay, definitely check out the tarot chest for that reading three of wands something you've been waiting for three of wands so instead being yourself will inspire others so that is enough to inspire others what could someone pay to be inspired by someone else you know when someone really inspires you and you feel really good about that that is an energy that is priceless you have that energy your journey, your adventure, you living this life, allowing the universe to lead you. This life is a life of adventure, traveling, singing, singing your wildest song, doing things differently. You're going, you're meant to live a different life, a life of, of adventure. So your life has been shifting more towards that. So all of this sadness, it's like whatever you're building was not founded on true joy. It wasn't founded on your true authentic self. Otherwise it would have been perfectly aligned everything would be working out meaning that you are just having the happiest time of your life doing whatever it is you wouldn't want it any other way it's like no you deserve the real deal okay help is nearby I got your back so some of these challenges that you're going through it it's like no one can help you this help is coming from the universe this is coming from having faith in a miracle literally that some type of miracle is going to happen and it shouldn't take getting to your last or getting to your lowest point for you to be open to this guidance. Deck two, I feel like you are more of my spiritual uh, deck out of all three of the decks. Message from higher self for whoever's watching. Your journey is the blueprint that will help others. So you have been heavily focused on helping other people. Now it is time to focus on you because helping you will fulfill your cup. And then the overflow of that cup the abundance will be the overflow that goes to the people around you, but never from your cup. Because you are meant to be full so that you can bring fulfillment also to others. But it's not coming from your cup. It's coming from the overflow, the abundance of your cup. So you must be fulfilled before you are giving to others. Otherwise, you will feel drained. You will feel like you're not living to your full capacity. Okay, 
And so there is a journey here. Your bags are packed here. There is a journey. Some of you could literally be moving on the whim. Some of you, very few of you could have made that decision. But once again, you're not waiting for the universe. You're, you're being patient with you. When will you be ready to take this leap? When will you show the world your art and allow yourself to receive? Because whatever it is that you're doing, by just doing it, it's bringing fulfillment. So everything else after that feels like an abundance because you're feeling like me just doing whatever this is, is bringing so much excitement. I couldn't even imagine receiving from it. Well, start imagining receiving, start imagining people giving to you, start imagining your true love relationship, inspiring the people around you. That's what's here. And the biggest thing is your finances. Let's get a message around that. You're not meant for everyone. Okay. Your uniqueness is your superpower. There's more for you to explore is what your higher self is saying. So you're being taken away from specific people for balance is what I'm hearing because it's time to pour into yourself because you're the answer in even inspiring other people. You just living your journey is going to inspire other people and help them because you're inspiring them. You know, people who you never meet, but they inspire you. How much can you give to them? <laughs> for the inspiration that they brought to you. Some of you may say, because of this movie, because of this song, because of this, I was inspired to now create this. So how much is that worth? How much is inspiration really worth? See your value. See your value that you don't have to do anything, but be you, and that's inspiring. That's it. So now being open to share that and know that you're not meant for everyone. So what is the energy around this five? This lack mentality around money, five of pentacles, contract, okay? So you are breaking binding contracts around your beliefs with money, finances, receiving in general. Um, if you believe you have to do extra or more to receive more, if that doesn't feel good, that you, then you know it's not aligned. So aligning and attuning by being aware of your thoughts when it comes to money and receiving. What else is here for the five of pentacles? Thank you. Angel of strength. Okay. Your value is also your value, how you see yourself, how you feel about receiving more and doing less. Understanding that you don't have to make this happen. And as soon as you can, oh, as soon as you can open up to this, I see a lot coming in here. Now, obviously, this is not your standard tarot reading. I'm starting to realize that many of my readings are going way beyond the cards, and I'm literally enlightening you guys. So whoever you are, you're definitely meant for that. So there's a leap of faith that I'm seeing that you're getting ready to take. This leap of faith is towards something that you really, truly um, enjoy doing or a place that you really enjoy going and be open to how this is going to be taken care of. Your joy is the compass. It, if it feels good, it is guiding you there. Once you get there, once you do this, whatever this is, there is another door that unlocks and it, another door that unlocks. So this is like a mystery that you are unraveling. And this mystery is your, your, the life of your dreams. Let's get a manifestation card for card two. Yes, just say yes. I don't know how that got in here. That's not even part of this deck. Just say yes and accept it. Accept this new life. Accept this new you and accept that there's nothing that you have to do. Okay. So if you guys were drawn to deck number two, card number two, this is your reading. If you guys are looking for that life purpose rare reading for that one, 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 you can find that down below or go to the tarotchest.com. In the meantime, I'll see you guys in the next pick a card reading. Love and light, I'm out. See you guys in the next pick a card reading. On to card three. Card three, if you guys were drawn to the puffin penguin, this is your message. We have accept yourself in your colorful personality. Feel confident about being you. So you are going through a shift internally about how you feel about yourself. So feel confident about being you because when you feel confident about being you, you act as this light to people around you. You are a joy bringer. You are your most authentic self when you are happy and when you are bringing joy to other people. So in order to do that, you must first bring joy to yourself. 
So I believe out of all three cards, yes, the second one did have two dolphins, I believe, and there are two penguins. So what I'm getting is that you can be an empath or just heavily focused on serving others, helping others, 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 others. And like I said and mentioned in two, make sure your cup is full so that others receive the overflow of the cup and not what's in the cup. Because, yes, we're going to get into that. You're a joy bringer. Let your community nourish you and protect you. Ask for help. Teamwork will give you the best results. So asking for help, whether that be connecting to more enlightened teachings. Okay. So I talked about the tarotchest.com. You guys can find readings, extra readings there that are a little bit more deeper beyond the surface. If you're looking for more mentorship, that's what I'm seeing as far as partnership, understanding that you're a very unique individual. So partnering with people is not the goal here. It's like partnering with the people that you connect with. And these people are meant to nourish you. I'm hearing that your soul could be feeling a little bit malnourished, which means you're focused so much on the practical, maybe survival, taking care of others. You could be a parent for some of you. I'm getting heavy parent vibes for a few of you and or have that parent feeling of wanting to care or take care of other people. Even if you don't biologically have kids, you have this energy, but you must take care of you. So right now, whatever's happening in your vibration, some of you, if you've been feeling sick, migraines, whatever it is, these are signs that are saying, take care of you, focus on you, whatever these signs are. What is it that they're going through? Celebrate the mystery. Let's see what the tarot is. We have the King of Raphael. It is safe to trust. We have the magician. You can manifest the life you want. What you need will magically appear successful beginnings. Spirit is saying not to focus most, most of your time on trying to figure out how this is going to happen. Even if you take a look at the most successful people, celebrate the mystery, they don't know. They do not know. And I shared with so many people there in my webinar, there's a clip of Drake where he wins his first Grammy, and I believe you can find that on YouTube, and he's holding it and he's like, I just, I remember seeing myself like hold this, I just, I remember seeing this house behind me and now I'm here. He's like, what is it that makes this happen? Like, what makes this all happen? Is it desire? Is it because I'm young? And he's asking these questions and it's like, exactly. <laughs> because we think it's success. It's, it's alignment. He aligned. And some people align at a young age, like Tiger Woods at 12 years old. So if you are a parent, oh my goodness. If you're a parent, if you're, whether biologically or not, you are literally going to activate the children around you to align with themselves so quickly that they're going to be like the youngest to do this, the youngest to do that. And they don't even know it's your energy that's doing it. So some of you had children, your children are your biggest blessings. Be aware of what they're doing. Are they picking up the camera? Whether it's your nephew, you have this ability to see this in other people, which is why you're so inspired. But now it's time to see it in yourself. Okay, we'll get back to that. But <laughs> what I'm getting is that this feeling, like if I seen this little boy, he picked up a camera and he was just like, he was maybe three and he's on his knee, like pretending ch -ch -ch with the little sound. I'm like, oh, if you were mine, psh, I would buy you a camera. You would be taking pictures every day. Keep doing that, baby. Keep doing that. Some of your greatest blessings are coming through other people. And some of you, it's your children. It could be the people around you, the people that you're giving into the most. So we don't know how this happens. It's just simply aligning with what you're meant to do, which is why I say all the time, we are not trying to figure this out. It is a mystery that we get to experience and explore. Okay. So the tarotchest.com, if you guys are looking for that life purpose reading, I did 111. They're each an hour long and you probably will never need to ask that question again. You're probably on a journey of discovering what is your life purpose. And the truth is, is we're here to exist. Voila, you're living your purpose. You're here to experience. But what experience do you desire to experience? Yours is different and unique to others. And how will this happen? Well, you will just shift, make up your mind on what you want to do. And then magically, and this is where you have to accept magic. You have to accept it. It's real. Magically, it will appear. Now, if you're trying to figure it out, you don't believe that it's magically going to appear. So you have to be honest with yourself. <laughs> card three. We have the world card here, a very happy ending. Okay. Do what you love. 
as another confirmation. Haven't even seen this card, these cards. You are meant to travel. You are meant to explore. You are meant to experience. All right. How do you know what you're meant to do? How do I know? How do you know it's what you do all the time? You know you're meant to help other people. You're already doing that. But now it's about filling your cup up because when you fill up your cup, you can help more people. See, that's the thing. You are being limited right now by just trying to pour every little drop out into this job, into this career, being here, being there, being with this person. Be and so what Spirit is saying is when your cup is filled, you will be able to bring so much joy and a completely different energy. You fill your cup with joy by feeding your soul. What makes you feel good? That's feeding your soul. Most of us are not focused on, okay, let me wake up and see what feels good today. What would feel good? You may be shifting into this. This is where you start playing with the universe. Your vibration is what's creating this all. So you guys could be into Nikola Tesla, all right, just into the fascinations of these worlds. It's a mystery. That's what's fun about it. But it's not fun if it's scary and it's like, I don't know what's going to happen. It's not fun. All right. So do what you love. A time of great personal growth in your career or artistic endeavors. You could have been drawn to card number two. You could be an artist. Working with others in a cooperative manner. You have support. All right. So you have a team getting ready to come in, partnership coming in, who actually share the same vision as you share the same vision as you. They're excited about what you're excited about. You want to travel with them. You want to do this. You want to uncover the mysteries of the world. Yes, it's safe to trust. So follow your creative passions. There's another confirmation here. Follow your creative passions. All right. Why is the magician here for card three? Exactly what they need to hear. Your growth has been acknowledged by the universe. So you've grown and you've come a really long way with just being open. And that's why obviously you're here. You're open to this communication and you're open to this guidance, which is what's getting you further and further along. The more you connect with this type of energy as far as enlightenment and light, you will feel kind of like a burst, like kind of like a spark, right? Maybe that's why you come back to these readings. But now it's like you're getting ready to create that spark in your life. Yeah, you're getting ready to hear from the universe yourself and, and actually get to see some of these things from the universe. To feel good is to feel God, as I always say. When you are feeling good, you are feeling God, literally, which is why it feels so good. All right? It's ecstasy. It's euphoria. It's a yes. So it's like playing that game. Am I getting hot or cold towards where I should be, what my path is? Well, does it feel good? That's how you know even a manifestation is near. And some people say, well, why wouldn't more money feel good? Well, if you think you have to do more to get the money, that's not going to feel good. You're going to push it away. So some of you may have subconscious beliefs that you have to literally be aware of. Like, oh, why do I feel bad? Why do I feel like this isn't going to happen? Why do I feel like this? And that's where the, the spiritual work is. Is like, oh, that's not true. Let me release that. All right, so to feel good is to feel God. So anything that feels bad, hard, or has to force, or we have to make this work, uh, well, that doesn't feel good, <laughs> you know? But some things are harder to accept than others that don't feel good because we think they feel good. We make them feel good, right? But it's a, a very temporary spark that you're getting. Even when you may be helping other people, yes, you get that spark, but then it's like, they leave or now you've given whatever you've given and it's like what about you now so it's important for you to feel this way that you're making other people feel as well message for exactly where they are about their manifestations i retire i'm telling y'all i retire <laughs> it it's good to feel good, and that's because if it feels good, you should be following it. That's your compass, okay? So if you feel good, it's the green light. Yes, yes, yes. If you feel bad, you're like, oh. If I say you're meant to travel and you're going to explore the world, that feels so good until some of these thoughts come in and then they land and they're like, but how are you going to bloop? And all of a sudden, you don't feel good. Just like that. Just like that. But when you feel good, you're literally vibrating and bringing things closer too. Okay? So you can be free, eight of Michael. So you're not trapped. You're never trapped. 
There's always a light and the light and the way to get to it is just, okay, what would make me feel better? Just feeling good and feeling better about situations. Make a courageous choice to change your situation, not seeing things clearly. Not seeing things clearly. And that's because there could be some fog of fear in the way. So the fog of fear, let's see what's going on here. Transformation. You are learning how to trust something other than yourself because what you desire is bigger than you can get. Can't just buy it on Amazon. <laughs> Whether it's love, peace, happiness, joy, you can't just buy it on Amazon. You are obtaining this through accepting that you don't have to do anything to get it because it's who you are. And that's, I'm not going to get too much into this, okay? Because you guys are really bringing me because you're like, but why? But why? I don't know <laughs> who's doing this, but all right. I am constantly evolving. There you go. You're constantly evolving. You will always have questions. And that's what actually makes you evolve. I'm more concerned about people who don't ask questions. They're just like, da, 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 da. nothing. You don't want to know why you're here, what you're doing, nothing. So I improve inwardly by working on my weaknesses and refining my strengths. Life ensures I'm presented with situations that will help me learn and grow. I am aware of my progress. That's the second time. Have you seen how far you've come? Be gentle with yourself. Be patient with yourself. You're expanding, especially in this time, whenever you're seeing this video, you're expanding. You didn't see this video another time because right now is the time. Right now is the time to be happy. Not when you get the house, not when you get the car, not when you get the money. Right now, can you feel good so that it can come? Can you feel good? Open your wings to the light. Look at the green. We have a lot of heart chakra. Your heart is being activated right now. What you love, who you love, love, love. I love to do this. Well, what is this? Loving yourself, feeling good about yourself and being honest with yourself. Mm, mm, mm. It's okay if you don't feel good, but don't ignore those. Really spend some time and ask yourself why, okay? And being honest with yourself. You are the light. Look how bright this is. Your solar plexus chakra is being activated right now. You are meant to be vibrant and colorful. So you feeling good, basically what it does is it makes you like a peacock and then you feel good and then you just spread your wings and then everyone's like, what's that? Who's that? Why are they so bright? Oh, that's just the intern. Okay, well, bring them to me is what the, the owner is going to say to some of you. Who is that? Who's that person over there sweeping? It doesn't matter what position you're in. People are going to see you because you're the light. But can you see you? There's something about looking in the mirror, card three. This is the only deck I got for this. This is the only message I got for this card that I didn't get for any other decks. F maybe five minutes a day and really seeing yourself, right? What are you? All right, you're good, you're light. You always have hope. No matter the situation, you have faith because you know deep down inside, somehow, there's a better future. You turn darkness into light. No matter what the situation looks like, you stay bright. You could be a poet. I open my heart to others and to God and am spiritually strong. I draw light to me and I shine with all of my being. And when you shine, that is inspiring people. You don't have to go talk to every single person in that building because your energy spoke for you. So it's like there's easier ways to do what you're trying to do, build what you're trying to build, create what you're trying to create. I assure you that these ideas are coming from infinite intelligence, which is way above artificial intelligence. You're communicating with an energy that is infinitely wise, okay? Let's see what else is here for card three. Release. 
Now we have the crown chakra, the third eye released, thinking that you have to make or figure this out. Stop fighting. <laughs> That's crazy. That is crazy. Stop fighting your fears in the hardships of life. I don't know if this was deck two that I said this in or deck three, but you don't have to fight, control, affirm. That's you trying to change it. You're just aligning with the desired life, okay? And I can't go too much into this because I'm literally enlightening you guys. Con I control my thoughts, live in the present moment, and accept each stage of life. I work with what I have power over and put into God's hands what I can't change. I trust that everything will work out for the best. So if you trusted and really knew everything would work out for the best, considering your situation that you're in right now, let's look at the energy of what they're going through for card three yeah look at that third eye trying to pop out caring connections something is shifting here the people are shifting here because what you've been manifesting is what you've been mirroring isn't this crazy that isn't this am i yes i am a magician thank you thank you i might need a hat after this actually magician and the mirror i just said there's something about a mirror your reality is reflecting you and how you feel all right and so even the people you've been attracting. When you feel better about you, you're going to manifest people who also are gonna be giving and feeling good. They're gonna be on that same exact frequency as you. So really, 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 I see you kind of bending reality, breaking through reality that maybe you thought was a trap, maybe you thought was the case, maybe your old story that you tell about what you went through and all what these people did, all of that story, you can let it go and just transform it by evolving from it, knowing you'll never have to go from it. You were activated. Your awareness was activated from it. Therefore, you can recognize it in the world and you'll never have to go through it again. And so now you're going to tell a new story. So it's safe to trust now. Now it's, it's, it's safe to open up to trust that you are being guided by something that unconditionally loves you. And that, that is a feeling that you really have to experience for yourself. Message directly from higher self for card three about their manifestations. Your super attractor power comes from how you feel. If you feel good, you're pulling it towards you. Your faith in love, love is unconditional in the universe. If nothing else and no one else, loves you we know that god loves you and god loves well do you know there's something there okay and the joy that you put out so this is this is literally an overall perspective of what i just said your faith and love if you knew love was unconditional this means you do nothing and have to be nothing to get it it's unconditional so if the universe loves you unconditionally that means there's nothing and nothing that you have to do to get it because the universe so once you know this, know this deeply, you will feel, okay, that's, I believe that. I can let this go now. And the joy that you put out. So now your joy, your cup, you being so happy, you're able to now share this joy with others. And that's also your super attractive power. Joy bringer, but you have to be enjoying life enjoying you enjoying your body enjoying and then when people see that you're enjoying <laughs> they will be inspired and naturally want to also be in joy and you know you might come across someone's video and literally they can say five words um maybe it's a picture a quote that you see that really just brings you a light that's what you will be to other people but you're, you must see this within yourself, that even you just being you, sharing your smile, just you, just you, your presence, your energy, right, is enough joy that is contagious and people are like, oh my gosh, I feel so good after watching that. Well, yeah, thank her. She literally gave you that energy. So you're energy exchanging with people and you're actually the reason why many people feel good and they don't realize that. Maybe you don't even realize that. When you're patient, you let the universe do for you what you cannot do for yourself. 
So no, this isn't something that you can just go get at the corner store or on Amazon. You can't do it for yourself. So be patient, not with the universe, but with yourself to receive help from the universe. Because sometimes we're like, dang universe, when is it coming? Universe is asking you the same thing. It's mirroring, literally waiting for you to vibrate in the energy that you are truly, which is, before we go, their energy, card three's energy. Blue, look at that blue, speaking, being free, freedom through your faith, calm your thoughts and rise above fear. You are free from all doubt by entrusting your doubts to God, meaning I'm letting this go. I have faith in God's perfect timing, trusting that if it would have happened a little too sooner or a little too late, you may have missed it. We always look back on those moments and we're like, thank God, right? So in these moments before we see it, because we never see it coming, we just see it going. And that's the truth. We don't see it coming. So let it go. And when it comes, enjoy it, embrace it, allow it, and then it will make sense, right? So you guys can definitely be an artist. I'm getting that strongly, heavily. Be free to speak. Be free to sing. Be free to write. Be free to express yourself okay so if you guys were drawn to card number three this is exactly what you may need to hear for where you are right now so i hope that i brought some light to you some inspiration also if you guys are looking for one-on-one -on -one readings personal readings anything like that you can find that down below or the tarotchest.com for those rare readings in the meantime i'll see you guys in the next pick a card reading i'm out